Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this adorable flower girl tutu dress for a friend of mine for her wedding. The colors of her wedding were plum, silver, and white. So this is what we came up with and here are the things that you'll need to complete this project. You'll need lace ribbon and lace fabric. You'll need artificial flowers. You'll need tool, quite a bit of tool also. You will need satin ribbon, and you'll need a crochet top. The crochet top that I used for this dress was sent to me by thehairbowcompany.com. I will leave a link to their website below. So the pink crochet top is one of the ones that I normally order from thehairbowcompany.com, and these come in six to eight inches, and I believe five inches too. And as you can see, you can see through the holes when they're pulled, when it's pulled apart, you can kind of see through it. Now this one is a 10 inch line crochet top, and as I flip it inside out, you can see that it's actually lined. So this gives more coverage and a little bit of warmth, but mostly coverage. So I really like this. Um, as you can see, I can still access the holes so that I can apply tool just like I do with the other crochet tops. And what I liked best about this was that it was so much bigger than the 6 or 8 inch. I believe the one I just put on the mannequin is 8 inch and this is the 10 inch line top and you can see how much bigger it is. This would definitely fit size 8 comfortably. In fact, this dress was made in a size 7-8 and you can just see it compared to the top that I normally buy. So this is great for bigger girls. Probably would fit comfortably up to a size 10 even. So now I've cut my ribbon. I've cut one piece of the satin white ribbon for the strap and one piece of the lace ribbon. And I've cut those to my desired length. And now I'm just applying them just like we normally do on this channel. What's different today is because this is a flower girl dress, I want it to be a little more sturdy and look a little more professional. So what I did instead of gluing, I sewed across with my sewing machine. But if you don't so you can definitely use the hot glue gun just like we do in all the other tutorials on this channel. So now that I've applied the straps, I'm just placing the bodice back on the mannequin and pulling all four straps behind the dress and I'm going to, I'm kind of rolling the ribbon together so it's easier to stick into the little holes in the back, but I'm just going to lace it through the back of the dress. Now I'm going to pull it kind of firmly and tie it in a nice neat bow. And so next I rolled out my tool and I cut it to my desired length. And I'm just applying two pieces at a time to the bottom of the bodice. I put two pieces in every other hole on the bottom of the bodice. So now I'm applying just a hint of color. She wanted just a little bit of color in the skirt. So I got this muted plum color by mixing one piece of purple and one piece of the gray tool together. So I'm applying one of each into every few holes. There may be five or six plum pieces inserted here. I just wanted to add a pop of color. And that's on the second row. So I'm finishing the second row off by adding two pieces of white tool on that same row kind of making it every other hole. And so that's what that row looks like. Now for the third and final row, I'm applying one piece of white tool into each hole on this top layer. So this is the third layer and it's the top layer. And I just applied one piece at a, at a time because that made the dress full enough and I didn't want big heavy knots at the top of the dress. I just went around and around and that's what it looks like. So now I'm just trimming things up a bit on the bottom. And 
and I'm just kind of eyeballing this. This part is really tricky because the more you cut, the more the tool hangs down. Um, but just trying to make it a little bit neater. Here's the before, and here's after the trimming. Now we're going to add some lace to this dress. So I've got my lace fabric down here, and I'm cutting it in about four, four and a half inch strips. And I just apply it to the dress the same way that I apply tulle. And I'm doing it on the same third la layer so it's overlapping the tulle. And of course this lace is thicker so you're going to have better knots. But I just kind of tried to tuck it in and it really wasn't too noticeable. So there's one piece. And here's all the pieces. It came out so pretty. So now I'm just pulling some of that plum color to the forefront so that you can actually see it. And when the flower girl is wearing the dress and there's movement, she'll, you'll be able to see just hints of purple as she moves around. But for pictures, I'm just pulling it to the front. Now we've got our ribbon, and after I purchased, I really liked the color of this ribbon, but it wasn't wide enough. So what I did was I made, instead of just a ribbon tie, I kind of made a sash by sewing these three pieces together. And if you don't have a sewing machine or you don't sew, you can absolutely use glue. I wouldn't recommend the glue gun like I normally do, but maybe the E6000 or... A fabric glue, a heavy duty fabric glue should work just fine. So I'm just tying the sash around the dress. Now on the wedding day you'd want to tie it in a knot, but since I'm going to be taking this off I didn't want the ribbon to get all bent up. So I just folded it just once just to make sure it was laying how I wanted it to lay. Now onto the flower, so I'm disassembling this flower so that I can reassemble it. So when I disassemble it, I take all the plastic hard pieces out because you don't want it to be pokey, scratchy, and feel really stiff. And then I glue just the flower petals back together. Now I'm cutting out a circular piece of felt to stick on the back so that can be the base of the flower and that's going to hold our velcro so that we can attach it to the dress. So I'm using velcro. You can use regular velcro from the fabric store. This is a 3M velcro. It already has an adhesive back but I don't trust that adhesive back. For this so I'm adding glue to that just using my hot glue gun and I'm sticking one side on the back of the flower and the other piece I'm going to glue to a piece of felt just to make it smooth and pretty If you know another way to apply a flower like this to a dress, let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to hear how you all do this. This is just the way I do it so the bride or the flower girl or whoever can get it on and off easily. So you see you just tuck the one piece behind and it all sticks together and then that's on there. That's not coming off and so the flower girl can remove it at her leisure and it makes it easy to slide on and off. So here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next tutorial.